speaks about uh, a, a lot of sheikhs with their cheeks trimmed and having a long beard. What uh, is the ruling on that? What did our ulama say? Um, trimming my cheeks would probably lower the anger of my mother. What is your view on that? First of all, the beard is mandatory to be left alone according to the most authentic opinion and shaving it is totally prohibited and this is the consensus of scholars the four schools of thought they all agree on its prohibition however the definition of the beard is something that people may uh, uh, um, uh, have some confusion in and the scholars say that the beard is the hair that grows on your jaws and, and uh, specifically the uh, lower jaw so this is your beard this is the lower jaw you can touch it you can feel it so the hair that grows on it is the lower jaw and it's called beard and also the hair that grows on your cheek what is exempted, what is called out of it, is the hair that grows under your eye, for example, on the upper cheekbones. This is not part of the beard. You can trim that, you can shave that, no problem. But when it comes here to this area, no, you have to keep the hair here. And likewise, underneath what's on your neck, up to your lower jaw, this is considered to be part of your uh, not beard the beard is on the lower jaw what's on your neck what's on your throat you can shave that you can cut this you can trim it without any problem but what some people do by narrowing it so little they call it the gulf area uh, beard where they shave it and trim it and it's like a, a dagger this is totally prohibited this is not part of the Sunnah and people have different ways and means of decorating uh, their beard and having uh, 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 slashing it here and there and l looking like a gangster's stuff or like the French beard or like the goat beard or whatever names they have all of this is not part of the Sunnah the Prophet ordered us alayhi to leave it as it is whether it grows a lot or it doesn't grow at all this is according to what Allah or how Allah created you just leave it as it is and we've explained so many times before that the beard is divided into not the beard the hair on the body is divided into three types mandatory to remove prohibited to remove and permissible to remove so yani i hope that this answers your question Muhammad from the